welcome to the channel where we're all about electrical tips, ideas, emerging technology, latest news and industry regulations. Morning guys, I hope everyone's doing okay. Um, just thought I'd put a video together today as we have recently won a small contract to carry out some EICRs for a local landlord following all the new um, laws that have come into place for those guys um, with, the, with the testing that needs to be in place by the 1st of July. So out on the first one today, we've got 18 in total to do for this particular landlord and uh, we are actually talking to a few estate agencies and property managers as well about other ones on this. But um, yeah, just been to the office, filled out the test form, grabbed the equipment that's needed. It's about eight o'clock now. So gonna drive over to the property and hopefully put a little bit of a video together throughout the day, show you what we're doing, how we do it, any sort of observations we come up against and um, a little bit of testing. So look forward to it. Hope you all enjoy it and I'll see you over there. So here we are, I've just arrived at the property that we're due to carry out the EICR on today um, and it turns out it's actually a block of flats. Um, we have uh, just arrived, spoken to the client, I've put the tools down, had a quick chat with him, grabbed the key and am currently inspecting the mains distribution. So I'm going to open that up. Um, property is actually not that old, probably about 10, 15 years old. So looks pretty good down here, but show you what we've got. So as you can see, we've got the main head coming in here, uh, meters going out with an isolator, and then the switch fuse disconnectors going up to the relevant flats. So we're actually here um, working on flat 56, which is this one here. So this is the only one we're worrying about, but as you can see, we've got 100 amp main fuse coming in series seven type two, 1361, uh, with a 16 mil main earth there. Uh, meter towels live and neutral both 25 mil which complies to the regs isolator here with our meter towels going up with our 16 mil earth again to our switch fuse disconnector 100 amp uh, switch fuse uh, going off up to our flat so this all looks good compilations happy with that gonna go and speak to the tenant now about uh, cutting the power and starting to carry out our dead tests. So I am in the property now and looking at the main fuse board for the prop, which is a 17th edition board made of plastic, not metal. So we will note that down as an observation, um, but it did apply, it did comply at the time of regulations. So as you can see, we've got our main switch up here, 100 amp incomer with uh, RCD controlled circuits, one and two. And then we've got split load, four circuits, socket central heating, smoke alarm and lighting on RCD one. And cooker, sockets, lighting and one unidentified what we'll find throughout the testing on RCD side two. The property itself is a two bed flat, uh, corridor, bedroom one, bedroom two, uh, bathroom in here with an IP light and the kitchen lounge two pendants, sockets, which we've unplugged all now. Um, and the kitchen here with a grid switch for appliances, cooker isolator, some more sockets above worktops, boiler spur, and another pendant. And then our heat detector and smoke detector as well. Um, so visual inspections looking pretty good all the sockets and whatnot looking in fairly decent condition for the age no signs of any overheating as of yet so what we're going to do now is start to open these sockets up and carry out an inspection so i have just had a walk around the flat had a little look at the condition of the sockets and switches it looked pretty good um starting to open things up now thought i'd start with a fuse board so give you a little look at that um all colors 
which is pretty good could have probably been installed a little bit neater but we can see we've got our brown and grey live and neutral coming in from the sub main downstairs the black is our, is our main incoming earth um, earth terminals in the middle there neutrals for RCD side one over here and side two over here and then all of our lives going into the relevant fuses um, the only one we've got unidentified at the moment I've turned off because I just want to see whether we can find it on a functional test um, had a little switch to the lights which is definitely not lights so continue looking for that one as we test through um, but as you can see we're in good condition no signs of overheating on any of these fuses here uh, buzz bar underneath is still all intact in good condition um, so all good signs from here um, but let's go and open up some switches and sockets just going to turn the fuse board off for that obviously make sure we've got no power anywhere so as it turns out um, I've actually found a circuit schedule inside the fuse board and that unidentified circuit has been identified on here so it's actually a fan um, so that there we go so we've got circuit schedule there which is very helpful when it comes to testing shows that all the cables are clipped direct all the different circuits cable sizes number of points and uh, the fuses etc so i have just started filling out a test form um i use i certify there are a couple of things that do sometimes annoy me on i certify one of those is when i'm trying to type in the descriptions and stuff the actual keyboard on the iPad gets in the way of what you're trying to type and then if you've got a typo it's difficult to try and find it and amend it um, otherwise pretty good I like the fact that once it's done you can send it straight over PDF to your email and forward it out that way or send it straight to the customer which is great um, I know a lot of people tend to write up as they go on paper and then fill it out but I prefer just to fill the form straight out because um, once it's filled out, once it's done, taking that little bit of time, um, it's it's done and it can be emailed straight over. But yeah, so I filled out the parameters, um, filled out all the fuse board um, schedule, and now we're going to start having a look at some observations, see what we come across, whether there's anything we need to log. One thing I have noticed is in this flat, just from filling out the circuit schedule. Um, when it was installed they put two lighting circuits in one of those is for the bedrooms hallway and bathroom and it has about six points on it and the other one is for the kitchen and lounge three points seems a little bit overkill to have two circuits over nine points with it all being LED in here but at the same time I guess um, it gives them segregation of circuits if one RCD blows at least they've still got some lighting so I do see it from that sense but what do you guys think should it be on two circuits or or should they just had that on one circuit I'd like to know what you think comments below so I have just been running around and opening up all the sockets and switches having a look generally all new wiring blue brown um, and in good condition no signs of any loose connections that I've seen or overheating or, or anything like that um, probably just one observation that to be honest with you, I'll probably just sort it out today rather than flagging it up and coming back is just in this MVHR fan boost switch um, just a bit of a rubbish connection really you see that core showing um, and that braided cable just sort of very exposed um, obviously never going to affect anybody when it's closed but Good practice will just shorten that tidy up the switch a little bit so I've just come back down to the main distribution now I've done my initial inspections I'm happy with all the conditions of the cable so I disconnected the main earth going up to the flat um, and carried out the external loop impedance um, ZE uh, good reading for a TN CS system um, we're looking at 0.34 so happy with that for within regulations um, so put this back together go upstairs and um, start looking at doing the ZDB as well as um, then moving on to all the dead tests for the final circuits and then we'll get on to the live test as well so
what I'm going to do now is start looking at doing the R1, R2s and end to ends on the ring mains, figure of eights, etc. So I'm going to start getting my temporary links in and, and testing to end the line. Found all the end of lines on lighting, cooker circuit, obviously the MBHR boost just there, um, and the uh, boiler, etc. So start having a look at that. Okay, so because of access um, in the fuse board being used as a bit of a store cupboard, what I decided is for my ring mains to come and do my end to ends and uh, R1, R2 testing is that I'll just strip off one of the sockets in the bedroom. Um, pet hate of mine actually is this the earths being put into one bit of sleeving. Every time you come to the socket, you have to pull the sleeving off, split the earths, and, uh, and you do your end to end that way. It might save a little bit of time on second fix, but you know, a little bit of sleeving, cutting it off, you know, took it five seconds. Just put two bits of sleeve on there, saves a lot of time and a lot of hassle when you come to test. And I'm sure the people that do this do test as well later on in their careers if, if they're not testing at that stage, and it's going to bug them too. So, I would say put your sleeving on both sides of the earth for um, good practice and ease of maintenance later on. But, what do you guys think? Does it bug you? Let me know in the comments. So that's it, uh, test here is done, um, property is actually in really good condition, wiring is not too old so tested as expected, uh, insulation, continuity, everything's fine, carried out a few loop readings um, on the sockets just to make sure the earth and stuff are okay and I'm going to calculate the lights etc. Um, RC diesel tested fine uh, within trip times as well as the um, test buttons on the fuse boards. Um, last thing I've done is just started to amend the stickers so obviously new regulations etc. Um, I've changed the quarterly test sticker for the RCD to a six monthly added in a 230 volt sticker as this was missing and pulled off the old um, installation periodic test um, sticker and put our own up ready for when we come back and replace the one double socket that's cracked uh, we can then sign that off satisfy the um, condition report and, um, and issue it to the customer so all in all, good morning, good test, really happy with how it's gone um, and uh, glad to pass the information back to the customer that, that this one's um, in, in good condition.